my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I did a little haul from Jason Wu Beauty and I want to share with you guys like what I bought, how they swatch, how they wear. Let's just dig into this new makeup. Jason Wu holds a very special place in my heart because he is Taiwanese like me, also born in Taiwan, and we gotta support each other. So I picked up a little bit of everything and when I picked this up it was during his soft launch on his website so jasonwoobeauty.com and everything was 50% off which is why I picked up like so many things um, but then they will eventually launch uh, in Target maybe it will have launched in Target by the time this video comes up but his line is very affordable and I just love that he keeps it very fresh very natural like I know I do a lot of like bold colorful looks on my channel but you know realistically like yeah that's fun to do but it's not really like stuff I like to wear out not that we're going out very often right now anyway I want to dig into this um, he did not have a lot of products in terms of like for complexion so I already have my foundation and contour on but I think I can do a majority of my look after this with his products so let's just jump right into it so first, let's start with the brows. I picked up the brow mascara and the soap brow. So this is the brow mascara. It is called Free De Brow, and I have it in shade 4, which is the darkest shade. This retails for $12. As you can see, the wand is quite fluffy. It is a bit larger than the brow gel brushes that I usually like, but we'll see how this goes. It does grab onto a ton of product right as you pull it out, so I think I'm going to try to scrape off some of it because I don't want... It to be like so aggressive so I'm just gonna like super lightly brush this through trying not to be very aggressive with it because it did pick up a ton of product on this brush so as you can see the difference between my eyebrow colors this one is leaning a little brown like it's not quite black enough for me like it's a little bit too warm you know what I mean Okay, so after putting that on, um, I'm not in love with the color. Like, it looks okay in my mirror, but I'm, like, looking at my little screen on my camera, and I don't love this color, so I'm gonna maybe wipe it off. Okay, so I just, like, kind of tried to wipe away the color um, a little bit, and I have to say the brush and the formula kind of reminded me a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, um, which I am personally not a huge fan of, so... Uh, we're kind of off to a not so good start Anyway, let's jump into the brow soap. So this is a $14. It's called the bush brow shaper soap It is clear like you would expect so there is only one color to this So you do have to spray something in the soap to like kind of get it to to activate and get on your brush So I'm gonna use this derma blend uh, Two-in-one setting spray. I don't use setting sprays all that often. So I don't have a lot of them so I'm just going to spritz it and take a clean mascara brush somewhere or eyebrow brush and I'm just going to like rub it in this soap and kind of get some on my brush. Then I'm just brushing this through. It does like if you rub too hard it looks like there's white specks so I'm just trying to kind of comb those out. So zooming in, this is what it kind of looks like versus the other side. I would say it's not magic, but it definitely makes my brows look a bit more fluffy than it was before, and I like it so far. Okay, up close, this is what my brows looks like. They definitely are more fluffy, and the brows are sort of staying in place for now. As we move on, I will check back in to see if they've like fallen or anything, but I like this. So next we're gonna move on to the eyes. I bought one of his eyeshadow like nine pan palettes. This one is Flora 9. This has a combination of mattes and shimmers and it has a lot of shades that will be pretty light for me but good for setting my foundation on my eyelids and it just looks like an all-around good like daytime palette. Kind of like no makeup makeup-y type look. So I'm gonna take this lightest shade, the lightest matte shade, almost like a rosy beige white and I'm going to set my foundation that is on my eyes it has already started to crease a little bit because my eyelids do get a bit oily okay before I jump too deep into this on my eyes I just want to swatch a couple of these shades for you so this is how they look on my fingers one shimmer two mattes and my hands are really dry, you guys. I'm so sorry. But here are the swatches of the three colors. 
okay, I'm here for this. It just, even the mattes look so even. Like I was expecting it to be a little bit patchy just from the way it felt, but ooh, I think they're gonna be creamy. Okay, so I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm dipping it into this color right here, which is one of the matte browns that I uh, swatched. And I'm gonna pop it into my crease. Wait, that blended so beautifully. It is not patchy at all. The texture is fantastic. In fact, this is like a little bit darker than I was expecting. I loved how that matte blended out. Okay, I'm taking a smaller brush now. I'm dip dipping it in this little like dark rose color. It is also a matte. And I'm just gonna pop it into like my outer thirds. Okay, so these mattes, they're pigmented, but they're not too pigmented, which is what I really like out of a neutral day palette like this, because when they're too pigmented, it's very easy to just like go overboard. And for a day look, you don't want to do that. It layers very beautifully. Like you can just keep popping them on without it turning patchy or anything. It continues to blend beautifully and it just like deposits color, right? You know, it doesn't like fluff out or anything. I'm here for this. I did pick up a liquid eyeshadow that's like shimmery, which I'm going to be using on my eyes next, but I don't want to like discount the three shimmers that are in here. So let me just swatch these other two shimmers for you really quick so you can see them. Shimmers in my um, experience usually perform really well, so I'm not worried about these, especially with how beautiful they swatched. I mean, look at that. So uniform, so shimmery. So his shimmery like liquid eyeshadow is called Celestial Lust, and I have the shade 02 Songbird. It's a cream shadow, not a liquid, if that makes a difference to you. These retail for $12, and there are four shades available. I am just going to plop this on the back of my hand here for you. Wow. Okay. That is absolutely beautiful. I think a little bit goes a long way because it is a little bit chunky on the back of my hand, and that's because I just like went nuts with it. So I am just going to be very, very careful with what's left on the side that I swatched with. And then I am just going to dab this out with my finger. Just on this like front half of my eye and up to my crease. As I'm tapping this in, it is starting to get a little bit tacky and drying. So that was very fast for something like this to sort of set and dry. So you definitely want to be using tapping motions because I tried swiping it a bit like I do my shimmer shadows and it like started to move the glitter around and there was like bare spots. But I'm going to zoom in here. It is very glittery. Like it doesn't feel as much like a shimmer anymore. It doesn't look like a shimmer as much anymore as much as like a glitter and it's not very pink. Like it's a lot pinker on my wand. So it almost just looks like a translucent, like glittery eyeshadow. I love how subtle this is. This is like very Jason Wu, but I only used a very, very little amount for both my eyes. So this tube is like literally going to last forever. It also feels like it fully dried down. So I'm hopeful that it won't crease, but we'll see. I actually don't want to put eyeliner on, but I bought eyeliner, so we're going to put it on. The classic liquid liner is one color so far. It's just black, and this is $12 as well. Okay, for some reason, I thought this was going to be a pen, but it's one of these types of liners, which I will admit, I'm not good at applying this type of liner. So I am just brushing off the excess onto the side so that it makes the brush thinner and it doesn't just like gloop all over my eyes and the brush tip is pretty thin as I'm brushing out the excess. Okay, it's it's very thin. For this type of eyeliner, it's one of the thinnest I've ever tried. I haven't tried a lot of them because I like I said, I don't like this type of liner, but, but it's very thin. Okay, so I just spent like 15 minutes trying to get them even. Like I said, not great with this type of liner. It is so thin. It is probably the thinnest eyeliner I have ever, ever used. Like in any format, like brush, this type of dippy thing, 
any format. It does dry extremely fast. So when you're creating your wing, you don't have a lot of time to like move it. Like once it's there, it's there. And then because the brush is so skinny, I did have to spend like quite a bit of time like filling the my wings, but I would rather have that than like a brush that's too thick. So off screen, I just put on like a very natural pair of like false lashes. So that completes our eye look. He doesn't have like a cheek product, but he has these hot fluff lip and cheek product things for lips, eyes, and cheeks. They're shaped like a lipstick. I have two colors here and these, you guessed it, also retail for $12, like a lot of things in his collection. This is what they look like and it has the little Jason Wu name embossed on the back. So this first one is in the shade Eclair. And then the second one is in the shade Apple Pie, which I guess I would have guessed that they were the other way around, but no, I got it right. They feel so creamy. Oh my goodness. Um, because the brown is a little bit warm, I'm going to go ahead and use Eclair, which is this first color. And I'm going to use that as my blush. I'm just going to use my fingers because... My skin has been a bit dry when I use brushes. It moves my face products a lot. So it feels really buildable. Like I feel like that went on and it wasn't super intense, but you can definitely see the color. I am like so here for this. I love this so much. Next is this $12 highlight stick. It is called an opal stick and it's just one color. My camera's having a, a hard time focusing because it's white, um, but it's supposed to just be like a little you know, highlighting stick. I'm just gonna rub that in a little bit. Whoa, okay. It has like a little bit of a purple tint to it, but I'm not mad. Like, I don't normally go for a highlighter as this color, but is this not gorgeous? So moving on to lips, I could just use like what I use on the cheeks on my lips, but I got like other lip products. Okay, so first I have three lip liners here. These retail for $10. And while these don't match the hot fluff like lip cheek eye things, they do match the lip creams that I'm about to show you in terms of like you can get the, the matching one. So this first one here was Adored. It is number one. It is this, I'm hoping like my lips but better type of pink. This next one is Par Parisian Chic. I can't like pronounce that actually, but it is like a more brownish nude instead of like a pink. I'm worried that this one is gonna be a little bit too light for me, but we will see. And then this third one is called My Angel. And I'm gonna swatch this one here as well. And this one looks like it's more like kind of in between the two, kind of peachy. I think. And then these lip creams are $12. <laughs> Almost everything is $12. Um, and I only got two colors in this because I have so much lip product, you guys. I will not ever get to like all of it, but I really wanted to try them. So this is what the lip cream looks like. I am going to just unscrew one of these. And the doe foot applicator is not tapered at all. Kind of just looks like a paddle. Um, so I got shades 1 and 8, which coordinate with some of the shades here. So real quick, this is number 8, which is my angel, and I'm putting this right next to its corresponding lip liner, and it does look like it matches quite well. It feels incredibly buttery soft, like this lip cream truly feels like a lip cream. And then this is number 1, which is adored, so I'm going to put this one, my camera will focus, on top of the lip liner. They match super well, like these two match and these two match super well. Not exactly, which is fine because you don't want it to be like uniformly exactly the same color, but super close. Which one should I wear today? I feel like because the rest of my face leans warm, I should be going with my angel. So let's do that. Okay, so as I am layering this on, I am quickly realizing that it is too nude for me, at least with the look I have going on. I think if I had bolder colors elsewhere, this would maybe work, but it is so close to my actual skin tone. So anyway, as you can see, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna actually remove it and put the other color on. Okay, so as I'm putting this color on, it does feel like a better color for me, although it does still feel a little bit light. I'm just not used to seeing myself in very light, like, nudie lipsticks, so 
um, it's a little off-putting to me, but I think the more I'm like looking at this, the more I do actually like it. It does look very close to my natural lip color. The pencil glides on super soft, and so did the lip cream. The lip cream is like, tr it kind of feels like the um, like the NYX like butter, like butter matte liquid lip thingies. Um, it's super comfortable. It feels like a little souffle. After you apply and rub your lips together, it can be a little bit patchy. So I just kind of like filled it in some more and then like waited for it to dry a little bit before you kind of like touch it again. Um, and it made the patchiness go away. So comfort is like A plus. It will definitely transfer onto your mask though because it, it feels like it's transferring between my lips already. So yeah, anyway, that is it for like everything that I bought. My box is now empty. Everything is in front of me. And this is the look I came up with, which I feel like is very like on brand for him. It's just very sort of natural, very fresh. So here are like kind of my final thoughts on the items. The brow soap, um, it's definitely still a little fluffier than how it normally would be if I just use a brow gel, but it didn't like stick straight up and hold it like it did in the beginning, which I think is good. I mean, I don't want like angry eyebrows anyway. Um, the mascara like the the brow mascara i just feel like if the darkest color is a little bit too warm and too light for me like what about for those that are darker skin than me like i'm just struggling a little bit with like the color um the brush for as big of, as it was was not so hard to work with although the the formula was like pretty runny so you had to be really make sure that you have to like scrape off the excess otherwise it'll just get everywhere if you can find a color that looks for you and you like the anastasia formula um, I would recommend that. Otherwise, I don't think it's for me. The eyeshadows, I think the eyeshadows are one of my favorite products that I've tried today. The mattes just blended so beautifully and the shimmers swatched beautifully. Again, not nervous about the shimmers appearing on my eyes. The cream eyeshadow glitter thing, um, it has not creased on my oily, like can get oily eyelids. So I'm actually impressed by the formula, although um, it is a bit, bit sheer in color. So I'm not sure between like the four colors how much of a difference you can really tell if they're so sheer. Like, don't go nuts and buy them all at the same time because they might look the same. I don't know. Eyeliner, like I said, the thinnest one I've ever tried and it dries super fast, which for me, I found it a little hard to work with, but only because I wasn't like ready for that. So I think next time um, I would be ready for that to work with that, but it created such a sharp wing. The three-in-one cheek eye lip things, um, another favorite. I would say this and the eyeshadows are my two favorite things out of everything that I got. It blended just so beautifully. It's so creamy and I can already tell that they will feel beautiful on the lips as well. Kind of like a matte velvet finish without being drying because it felt really creamy on my cheeks. The highlight stick I do like. I hope that he comes up with more colors but I was really surprised about how pretty it looked for it being like a purple hue. The lip liners and the lip creams, um, I do like the lip liner, I just wish that I had colors that worked better for me. And then the lip creams, I do like the formula as well. Because they are like more nude, it is a little bit, like you can kind of tell where the cream and the lip liner meet. So I think what I would do next time is like use a lip liner, you know, almost on my whole lips and then go over it with the lip cream just like as a topper to get that to blend more seamlessly. I think what I really struggled with between the like eyeshadows, the fluffs, the lip creams, the lip liners, the, what I will say is that I think the colors on the website aren't that accurate. Like when I checked the website like swatches versus like what the actual product looked like versus what he was posting on his Instagram, like I had a lot of trouble deciding on what I wanted and like all the colors kind of photographed darker for his website than they actually were in real life. Like my angel looked darker than I experienced. So I would say the color accuracy is not that great. So when you're shopping, just be careful, like look up other people's swatches and videos to see what colors work for you. I'm sorry this got a bit rambly. I was just so excited to share everything that I bought with you and I hope that this has been informative and you know can help you make decisions on what you do or do not wanna buy from his line. As with every line of products, there's always going to be things that I find works for me and things that I find that does not. So this was very expected. You know, I didn't expect to come in and love everything, but I found some gems and I think I need these in like every color.
Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. As always, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Let me know if you've picked up any of his items and what you think. There were some primers and setting sprays that I didn't pick up because I don't normally use those items in my routine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!